some people, they feel really bad and sad and everything happened to me. And, you know, sometimes it feels like you want to cry, but you can't. Kind of shock sometimes, you know. I didn't think all of these people would care. People around the world, millions. Everyone is talking about making a murderer and the trials of Stephen Avery. It's not over. Once somebody's convicted, they have to move mountains to get out of prison. Our task now is to upend an entire system that favors the prosecutors. Do we want the right person convicted? Yeah, but that's second theory. Teresa's gone. There's nothing else you can do about that. Prominent attorney Kathleen Zellner, best known for overturning wrongful convictions, has taken the Avery case. I have one goal, and that's to overturn the conviction of Stephen Avery. Why would someone falsely confess to a crime that they didn't commit? They wanted this information in the worst way. So Brendan thinks if I tell them what they want to hear, I'm going to go home. The prosecution's case was Teresa never left the property. But the last call pings off a cell phone tower miles away from the Avery property. 70 to 80 percent of people who are murdered are murdered by someone they know. Each of those individuals have to be looked at as suspects. There's, there's a lot based on that bullet. This is critical. There's an abundance of evidence. This could flip the whole case. If the conviction is overturned and they try to do a retrial, do they have much of a case? I don't think Manitowoc is ever going to heal from this. Mom, Dad, I know they want to be a happy family again like we used to be. And I want to see if I can put that back together. I built me a big house so I can take care of them. I want to make them happy as long as they're here. And that's what I'm scared about. If this case is solid, if he's guilty, I'll fail.